what's going on folks and welcome back to another episode of gas station simulator so we had a shit shift shit shift that's a hell of a lot of s's last time we played this game and it seemed like everybody lost their damn mind it was crashing or driving like morons uh, our employees were like i don't know on crack or some shit i don't know what their deal was but i did get a tip that uh we could purchase the broom and that will will help us with these cars that continue to lose their mind and crash. So we are going to make that our goal is to get ten thousand dollars so we can buy that broom. Because I want to see it in action, to be honest with you. I want to see exactly what it can do, and not because we obviously never had it. So let's jump in here. Let's try to get ten thousand dollars. Let's see what's going on with our airstrip and our gas station and everything else. Because there is a lot going on, folks, in this game, and I absolutely love it. This is why this game is so addicting because there's so much you can do. All right, let's figure out what we have to do. We got to buy a trade airstrip one spot. Okay, so I'm assuming that's I don't know where that's going to be, but uh so airstrip, we got to buy a I thought I I would assume it'd be like something over like in this area, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm even gonna mess with that. Well, I guess so. Yeah, the vacuum. Oh, no, the I'm sorry. We have a broom. What the shit? I'm thinking of the vacuum. We do have a broom. Why was I thinking of something completely different? So let's go ahead and open up our gas station and see if we can push a car with the broom because that would be badass if we could. That would be funny as shit, too. So let's uh put the open sign up. Everybody can come on in. Yeah, we have all our signs here that we are closed. Hey. George, what are you doing? Are you ready for the day or what? My God, go do something with your life. Like, get out of here, man. All right, uh, you can go ahead and work the... I oh, know, I want you to clean the station, actually. Yeah, go ahead and keep uh, cleaning the station. So we did move this, which I do like it back here a lot better because we can see our entire station now versus just, you know, half of it. So let's, uh, management, let's get everything open again. And let's see if we can push a car with the broom. Love the view, man. It's This is looking pretty good. We might have to change the roof on this one. I might actually. I like that roof. I, I like the gray better than that brown. So we might, we might change that at some point. Our gas station, in my opinion, dude, is looking pretty nice. I love the new layout. I really do. I really like having this right here. Uh, do we have anybody rolling in yet? No. Let's get some employees out here because they're dicking the dog, just relaxing. All right, come on, people. All right, Nina. Uh, I need you up here at the cash register, please. And thank you. Go ahead and handle the register. Ricardo, Ricardo, my buddy Ricardo, I need you to go handle the uh, gas pumps. And it's not even, I call him Maverick. His name is definitely not Maverick, but I'm going to continue to call him Maverick. I don't really care what his actual name is. He is, I thought I paid everybody. Shit. He is a much better employee when I call him Maverick. So let's go ahead and get Maverick over here. Parent cars. George of the uh, King of the Jungle here is already sweeping. And let's get Jan to uh, gas up some cars. Sh did you fucking just littered, dude. Are you serious, Jen? Or Jen? Nina? Fuck is this, man? Oh, what? <laughs> what the hell? It's okay, George. You're playing kick the can. That's all right, buddy. It's right here. Here, I'll get it for you, big guy. There you go. Dude, that was awesome. I throw it. It's like I was playing fetch with George. All right, let's try this, folks. Let's get a broom out. Uh, well, I don't know what it's doing, but trucks. Maybe it's just like cars that are broken. I don't know. Oh, no, we can definitely do it. Awesome. All right. So that does work. So if we do get a car that's broken again, instead of hitting the reset button, uh, we will sweep them away with our magical broom. Our broom is awesome. But I do still want to buy that vacuum for $10,000. I do want to see what that does uh, does for us. Because I'm sure it's, it's something awesome. But we need to just uh, get the right amount of money for that. Which we will eventually. Just going to take some time. Move. There you go, buddy. My guy, it, what are you fucking doing? I'm hitting the wrong button here. I don't know what is going on with my guy today, but he is messed up for sure. Have a nice day. 
Yep, you too, sir. Right, let's go back to our airstrip and see what we can do as far as... Jesus, I'm fucking flying. Actually, let's stock our shells real quick. That's all we can do there. Sunglasses. That's it. Car care products. We have no more left. We have plenty of ice cream. Alright. And soda is going down. Putting plenty of soda on the shelves for our people here. Hey, how's it going today, sir? Yeah, please, take some soda. And how about our beer? Is our beer... Oh, Jesus, Mr. Peace. We have no more fucking beer on the shelf. Probably place it all, man. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, snacks are very, very low. We don't have anything else for snacks. We'll have to do a uh, an order here in a little bit. How about our newspapers? How's our newspapers doing? We can probably uh, we can almost probably place all of them down. Nope. Oh my God! Wrong button. All right. So let's go and head over to. Let's go across the street. And let's see what that question mark is for. I don't know what it's for. Thought we got everything handled over here as far as question marks. But let's go and check this question mark out. What? Is it right here? No, I don't want to go in there. All right. Let's find out where this fucking trade airstrip one spot is. Ramming cars. What the fuck? I would assume it'd be here, but we don't even have an option to go over to there. So I don't know where the hell this is, this airstrip thing is. I know what this does, and I don't want to do that. At least it brings us right to the uh, car wash, which is pretty cool. All right, what are we doing here, folks? What are we doing? I guess we can go up upstairs on a computer. Buy a trade airstrip. I don't fucking understand what the hell that means. I can't buy anything at all. You won't let me, dude. Like, so seriously. Okay. Let's see. Employee. I don't know who that is. Tools. Upgrades. Airstrip. Storage. All right. So storage is $1,000. We have its inventory aviation fuel capacity product relocation between warehouse and airstrip storage that's not doing anything for us oh i bet you this is it right here we got a ball oh, 250 dollars that ain't bad let's just buy it real quick all right so now we have another garage for probably an airplane i would assume uh use toy to move the wrecks out of the airstrip hint you can put the wrecks into the large container or just put them outside the airstrip area do we have any wrecks why are you showing me the dumpster? I know. There's a dumpster there. Pretty cool. I get it. Like, thank you for showing me the dumpster. Is he talking about these cars? I can pick it up. No, I cannot pick it up. All right. So I got to use Toei for this. Why are you parked like a jack fuck, bro? Seriously, Toei? Are we stuck on here? We are definitely still... <laughs> Who parked the truck there? There's a reset button for Toy because he's on fucking heroin or something. There he goes. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, move these cars. I'm not really sure why we need to, but... Let's go ahead and do it anyways. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll go for this one. X. And... Extend. Wrong way. Um, Q and E. And we need... Oh my gosh. What the fuck? There we go.
I'm gonna go back farther. My gosh. All right. Uh, stop moving, Toby. Bro. There. Stop moving. This thing is dumb. I don't like using this thing. Where's the magnet? All right, there we go. All right, so let's bring this car. Well, let's bring it up a little bit, actually. I guess we can. Why can't I, like, bring it up? All right, whatever. Let's just bring this in the... Uh, I guess you bring it in here, maybe? This is not... We're not going to fit with our fucking arm extended way the fuck up. Oh, I guess we just go through. Do we place it in here? Is this what it wants me to do? Use out... You can put the racks into the large container or just put them outside the airstrip. Oh, I get it. It doesn't... We don't want to put it in there. We can just move it anywhere, basically. Uh, what, what large container? Oh, the dumpster? Is that what it's talking about, probably? I guess. Let's go move this thing to the freaking dumpster. That's going to be hell on wheels trying to get this motherfucker in a dumpster. And, yeah, go ahead and place this in here. All right. I hear Santa. All right, let's see if we can do this correctly. So... So this is as high as we can go. Are we in the dumpster? No, we're like half in, half not in. Oh, now we're out of the truck. Don't know what that did. Like it's not even in in the dumpster. Like get in the dump. Oh, where's our broomstick? There, is it in there? Would you guys say that's in there? I would say it's in there. Looks like it to me. All right, cool. Let's just do that. Fuck that. Toy takes too long. Let's just move it with the broomstick. That'd be a hell of a lot quicker, I think. And to be... Oh, I guess this could be a little another airport right here. All right. Look at that. I love it, man. Thanks for the idea of the broomstick, man. This thing is a fucking lifesaver. <laughs> Holy cow. I absolutely love using the broomstick. I'm going to try to turn it this way. There we go. Get a little straight on. Oh, maybe it's not as easy as what I think. Maybe totally would be a little bit easier. Ah, look at that. We're getting it. Keep going, car. Keep going. Whenever you're ready, go to the screen inside the bar. I'll explain everything you need to know. Okay. We're, we're doing some towing here there, buddy. So you have to wait a minute. All right. So look at that, man. We got it right up in here. Look at that. That's beautiful. Love it. Perfect. Broomstick is my new best friend. Never knew I could move a car with her. Look at this shit, man. That was freaking perfect. Oh, we pushed the other guy out. Or the other car. Hell yeah. Let's try to get this guy back in here, though. There we go. That is badass. Our broomstick is our new best friend. Are you beeping at my toby? Don't make me broomstick your your ass. I will do that. All right, put your broomstick away. You're you're fucking ruining everything with it. All right, what what's, what am I doing here? Check the screens. We got to go back to our gas station. We can't be over here the entire time. So let's go run back over here and see what's going on with our gas station because that's our money maker, and that's what we need to uh, focus on really. And yes, I understand that at some point. Um, the airstrip will be our money maker as well, but not right this second. Our cleaner sucks. Oh, he's taking a break. What am I doing? Check the screens in the communication center inside the barn. Okay, well, I guess I could go do that. How's our gas doing, guys? Let's go check that out real quick. We probably need gas. Okay. 
Not horrible, not horrible. I think we're good for right this second. Um, it's $1,000, yeah, we're not, jeez, no shirt, no service, motherfucker. We're not going to order gas right now, not until we absolutely need it. So let's go back over here and see what's on our communication screen and see what old Crazy Joe wants us to look at and wants us to do, because he didn't really specify, he just says, look at the, uh, the screens. Okay, let's go look at the screens. Let's see what's on here. Congratulations. What? You've arrived at your command post. Hell yeah. Here's the list of upcoming arrivals. From the left, you can see the plane's country of origin. Oh, okay. Its number, cargo, and time to arrival. Cargo is divided into two categories. Mm -hmm. The top row is what the pilot is carrying, and the bottom row is what he wants to trade for. Depending on your communication center level, you'll be able to identify more products from the list before the pilot arrives. Do you remember what I asked for? Doesn't look like the tequila. Next pilot is carrying tequila. You can reject the plane using the X button on the right side of the screen. Why would I den deny it? What if I don't want to? What's it bringing? Uh, I guess. Upgrade communication center to reduce cool time. Um... I don't really want to, but I know he wants tequila. Now pick up the communication device. I'll show you one more thing. Where is it at? There it is. See? Almost the same. Almost. However, the device shows only two upcoming flights, not four like on the screen. Plus, at the bottom, you can see information about the goods Ooh, I'm tequila. In. You can give them to me every time I arrive at the airport. He's bringing some decent liquor. Reward. Simple as that. Now, check if you're prepared for your first trade. Remember that anything you want to trade with must be in your warehouse, not on the shelves. One more thing. What does he want to that all pilots need some trade. refueling after the long journey? Always do it before you start trading with them. There may not be enough time for that later. If you do everything right, they'll trust you more. Fox 29 out. There's a lot that he just told me. <laughs> what am I doing here? All right, I got to make sure I have a blueprint. Do I have a blueprint anywhere? I don't think I do. Do I got to buy a blueprint or what? I have nothing in my fucking warehouse. Maybe I can, like, get a blueprint delivered? Delivery. Products. Yeah, I, there's definitely not anything I can do there. Delivery. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how to get a uh, blueprint, but... On the way in four seconds. Joe's offer. Maybe he gave me a blueprint. Joe order. Order products desired by the pilot. Can't without the products in the warehouse, you won't be able to trade. Oh fuck, he's here. There he is. I don't know how to get the product though, dude. All right, let's just figure this out real quick. He's gonna have to wait a minute because I don't have, I don't have what he wants. And I don't know how to order that shit. Great, he's coming out. He's got, hey man, if you want to hang out a minute, you know. Hey, you're in my fucking garage. Cool. Where you at? Hey, how's it going today? He looks like he's legitimately in the army. All right, let's go ahead and gas him up real quick. Plane feeling a similar car feel. Okay, I, I can I can probably figure this out. Oh Perfect. shit! Went over. My bad. All right, so now George, to start trading, interact with the plane and press the F button. This is getting a little interesting. All right, welcome to the trading tutorial. tutorial. Here you will learn what steps to take on the way to a successful exchange of product. Uh, at the top, you can see a timer shows the remaining time for the trade. When the time is over, the pilot will immediately have or leave the airstrip. On the right-hand side, you can see all the products that are in the pilot's cargo. You can always pick up or pick as many products as you are interested in. Okay. Uh, pick up the tequila to add it to the trade space. Cool. The trade space is the space where all products selected for trade are located. Okay, okay. 
Uh, you can end uh, negotiations with the deny button or temporarily suspend them with the hold button. However, for tutorial purposes, these actions are locked for now. You can select how many bottles of tequila you would like uh, or you want to get. I want to get a couple. Select at least 10. Okay, now select products from your side. If the product is in gr is great, it means that it is not available in your warehouse. Fuck. Uh, let's give him the armadillo. This indicator shows current chances for the successful exchange. You can affect them by mixing the products inside the trade space. All right, selecting a trade button will result in offering a trade to the pilot. He can reject or accept it as... No offer has a 100% chance of success. Select how, or select it now to see what happens. Trade fail. After the offer rejected, the impatience indicator fills up depending on the relevance of the offer. When the indicator reaches the end, the upset pilot leaves the airstrip. Well, shit. Okay, here are some special skills you can use while trading. Each skill has a cooldown, so choose wisely. Use the available skill, the power of calm, to reduce the impatience indicator, which increased due to the rejected offer. Okay. Uh, try to increase the number of products offered to convince the pilot of the trade. Well, dude, I, the thing is, I know what he wants, and I don't have it here. I don't know where the fuck to get it. Like, he wanted blueprints. Uh, then try to propose trade again. Remember that every next offer... Remember that every next offer after rejection has to be higher. So let's get him one of these. He still doesn't want to fucking trade. Bro, I know what he wants, and I don't know how to... I can't get out of this fucking screen. Medium. High. Yeah, we're gonna give him all this shit for some tequila. All right, let's trade. Trade successful. Okay, so we need to get whatever Joe said. The blueprint. Start trading. Interact with the plane. Okay, well, he's taking off. Bye. Thanks for coming. See you later. Thank you. Fox 29 out. Why are my employees not fucking working? Are we out of gas over there, maybe? Let's go over here and figure out what is going on with our employees, because nobody is fucking working, and I'm not really sure why. Oh my god, there's a lot of planes coming in. Do we have to do this? Like, this is going to take up so much fucking time. All right, well, let's go see if we need gas. No, we're good there. He's probably, he probably can't do anything with cars. Ricardo. Clean the station. And all right, upgrade communication center to wait for a plane to land to see more. These are all locked. I can't do anything right now with these. Windmill, $2,500. All right, so yeah, like products, we can't buy anything, man. There's nothing. I don't even see a blueprint anywhere. Yeah, absolutely nothing. So let's go see to what this guy, he's going to be here in a minute. Yeah, I don't know what he's bringing. All right, let's go. I have to go back next door and see what I got going on over there. Hey, you're still here. Nice. So the airstrip is definitely going to be time consuming. You know, we got to really wait there for a plane to arrive.
I can't sit there and wait for Joe to arrive. Well, I guess I'll hear him come in. He's fucking crazy. You're welcome. Um, what is what is he pissed about? Money? George, take care of the fucking garbage, man. Dude, you are about worthless. I'm telling you. What is your problem? This place looks like hell, George. Holy crap, he's actually finally sweeping. Dear God. About time there, George. Alright, where are we at? What? Is he crashing again? Where is he? Dude. Crazy freaking Joe. Pretty sure he crashed again. Like, dude, you have to stop crashing. Way in the hell out here. Holy cow. I should have brought Toby out here, actually. Ouch, 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 ouch. Bro, why are you so far out here? What in the hell? Joe, come on. I have no idea how it happened. Yeah, I don't either. Damn birds confused me. Did it much better in the old days. Nah, never mind. I need a drink. I guarantee you probably already had a few. On your feet. Fuck. I gotta go get Toy. I knew I should have brought Toy out, but let's run all the way back. Dude, he crashed so far away from the airstrip. Like, not even close. Bro, you gotta do better, Joe. Like, I'm gonna ground you, man. Call the FFA and say, yeah, Crazy Joe should probably not be operating a airplane because he does not know how to fly or land. Oh, great. We got somebody here to trade. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Let's go ahead and get you gassed up and see what you got to offer. Amazing. You're what? Racing? Vamos, hermano. Look and choose. Uh so we do need a we do need this. And let's get a little bit of that. Let's get like I can only get one, so let's get a few of these. I have nothing to really give him but a hat. That's it? Fuck, he's not going to want to trade. Why can't I trade it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I have nothing to really trade him, dude. He is not going to accept this. Let's bring it. Let's just get two of these. Let's see what he does. No, it doesn't suit me. Why, uh, why doesn't it suit you? Very low. Medium. Let's just put this back and see if we can just get that. Come on, man. I won't waste any more time. All right, we'll get you the fuck out of here. Be Sorry. gone. Yeah, I don't have, I have nothing to give these folks right now. So we got to put an order in for some things. All right, let's go ahead and put an order in because we, have, I don't have anything to give these people. We have plenty of soda. Let's do that. Why are we playing car care stuff? Two hundred forty dollars. Fuck that. So expensive. We're good there. Let's go and order this stuff. What are we at? 434. Let's get two of everything. Not three, two. 842 bucks. All right. And we got to order some stuff for our uh, garage. 
We do not need any duct tape, that is for sure. Alright, let's see what the damage is. Uh, let's go with 10. Yeah, we have nothing in stock over there, dude. At all. This is gonna get super freaking expensive. There we go. All right, let's head back over here or over there and wait for our uh, arrival of our shipping stuff. Let's wash this car real quick at $150. So yeah, this is really going to be a... We're going to be running back and forth non-stop. So we got to get adequate product so we can trade successfully versus uh, what we just encountered, which we didn't have enough shit that he wanted. We needed to get those blueprints because that's what Jill wants for whatever reason. So yeah, we'll work on it, man. I'm glad this game is expanding the way it is because it, it just... It gives you so much to do. I mean, that's, it's, it's never, ever boring. It really is, man. This game is fucking phenomenal. Thank you. Come back to the world's most expensive car wash again, please. And give me another $150. So we should have back-to-back -back, uh, trucks coming in here. Because, I yeah, here he comes. He's coming in right now. I would say I order stuff pretty much right back-to-back. -back, so Stuck on the door. Get in your home. So yeah, we're not going to make $10,000 this episode because we, we are just still continually, continuously trying to um, learn the operation at the airstrip. And it's hard at times to remember we have a fucking gas station that needs to be kept up to date as well. You know, if we need to, if we can get somebody over at the airstrip full time, that'd be nice too, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay, so now we gotta order some fuel because that's slow. Go figure. Just constantly ordering stuff. Hey, Joe or George looks pretty nice in here actually. Doing a pretty decent job, man. I appreciate you. All right, cool. So the fucking bus left again. It didn't glitch. Well, it's still there, but I think it's gonna leave hopefully. All right, so we still gotta go tow Joe's plane. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the gas guy to get here, and then we'll uh, we'll go tow his plane. Yes, I know, buddy. I know we we're out of gas. It's coming. Just hold your horses. You'll be here at any point in time. Just relax. Here he comes. Ah, oh, I mean he's driving fast. Damn. About the fastest I've ever seen him drive. All right, we got somebody in the car wash here. Let's go ahead and start his car at least, and then we'll wait for the tow—not the tow guy, but the uh, gas guy—to get here and get parked and get out and walk his mile around his truck that he always walks. comes a honking. Bro, is your truck not clean enough? Holy cow, man. Seriously? Thank you. Jeez, dude. Alright, let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, get our two employees back out there pumping gas. Um... Yeah, he's... One's resting, but... We can't even fucking pay him. Everybody's gonna be resting here in a hot minute. Well, I guess we can go tow, uh... Tow Joe's car back, or tow Joe's fucking plane real quick, because he does not know how to land anywhere but the airstrip. Or he lands anywhere but the airstrip. Like, dude, that sounds like a rattlesnake. Where's Toey at? Here he is. 
Come on, Toey. Let's go get Crazy Joe's truck. Or not truck, but it's fucking plane. Why do I keep saying truck? Uh, I guess we're going to go the long way. We can cut through here, probably. There we go. All right, let's head out there. It's going to take us 45 years to get out there because he's so far away. Well, that guy's leaving. I didn't even know we had somebody here. It doesn't tell me that there's somebody at the uh, airport. And I'm not sure why. That should change because typically, like, you know, it would tell you there's somebody at the gas pump. There's somebody at the garage. But it doesn't tell me there's somebody at the airport. So we just lost out on a trade. Where is fucking Joe's airplane at? I forget. Why isn't it showing up on the map? All right, let's just take Toei way out here to BFE because fucking idiot is a moron and does not know how to fly a plane or land. We are damn near in the fucking city there, Joe. Come on, buddy, do better. There he is. All right. We are so close to the city. <laughs> I mean, not really, but we're pretty close. All right. Took down a couple cacti's. Cactuses. People call it cacti, cactuses. You call it whatever you want. I don't care. All right, let's back up a little bit. I always hit the wrong button for backing up. And there we go, right there. All right, let's do this. Did I get it? Oh, fuck. Sorry, Joe. All right, well, we got you. No, we don't. Back up, man. S is for backup, I thought. Uh, half his plane is, like, broke off. I don't like this thing. I really don't. Because it's, like, not user-friendly. It's fucking weird. Jesus. All right. We can't go up any farther, so let's just go. We're going with this. All right, we got it. It's on, a, it's on our side, but hey, man, it, it, whatever. Whatever works, as long as we have it on our magnet, we're good. Air, okay, I see airstrip one. Okay, I see the top left-hand corner. It's very small, but you kind of have to look for it, dude, because it's... Oh, my God, we're going to get stuck. All right, so we do have a couple more things that we can trade. What we have to do is get that fucking blueprint. So hopefully whoever's coming in... God damn. Oh, my gosh. This isn't good. I got totally stuck. Man. Um. Let's try this. There we go. Dude, seriously, thank you for the idea of the broomstick. That is such a lifesaver. What we have to do is get out of this cacti farm because we're fucking going to get stuck again. Can't see. There we go. All right, we're out of there. Yeah, that broom is so incredible, incredibly helpful. Like you have no idea. It's these little things that you you learn throughout the game, you know. And it's very helpful when when folks decide to uh, be awesome and give me tips because I don't know everything about this game. You know, it took me a long time to figure out that we even had a reset button. I think we went through like six episodes and uh, didn't know there was a reset button to reset cars. You know, and it's like. We've gone through how many episodes now, and now we're learning what the broom can really do. It's, it's fucking awesome. All right, so where we, where we got to put this thing? Right here? Oh, Joe was still in the fucking plane, and I was, like, throwing it around upside down, all kinds of shit. Sorry, Joe. I didn't know you are still in there, buddy. My bad. What? You were too close. Okay, I'm too close. Too close again. Here we go. Perfect. All right, I'm not gonna park him. Let's do this. This is a much easier way to easier way to park him. All right, so is Joe gonna fix his own plane? No, nope, he wants me to do it again. Well, he can wait. I've got a fucking gas station to go run because that right now is my number one priority. Um, me duct taping his fucking plane is not my priority at all. 
So we got to go in here real quick and give our boy some products. We, he's not even working. Which is not bad because we have no products in here anyways. But we definitely, definitely do now. Let's get him back out here, though. We have well, we have six hundred thirty-one dollars. All right, Maverick. Whoops. Need you repair cars, Nina. I need you to go back to the register, please. Ricardo, I need you to do the gas in the cars. And George, you old lazy fuck, go in and clean the station, which I know you're not gonna do because all you do is scratch your freaking head like a tool bag. And uh, this is the battery ones. Batteries. All right, let's go play some of our. Oh, hey, 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 buddy. Let's go play some of our products on the shelves here. I guess I'll take care of garbage. Don't worry about it, anybody else, you know, because I come back here, my, my store is a fucking disaster. Because George is not king of the jungle. George is king of the fucking laziness. All right, we'll place him there. You want me to pay full price for this? Did she fuck up again? Come on, Nina. You gotta do better. Whose fish is this? Who brought the fish in? Was it you? You're bringing a fish into my store? Don't bring a fish in my store. Thought we bought car care products, but I guess not. Yeah, now we have sunglasses. Boop. Newspapers. We have so many newspapers, dude. Oh my gosh. We have like all the newspapers in the world. We are definitely never going to run out of newspaper. There. Oh. And put that back. Is George taking a beer? It looked like he was. 100% looked like he was taking a beer. Okay, we're, I think we're, we're good. Where's our tobacco one? I keep forgetting about this. Oh, we shouldn't be placing them all because I thought I had more room than that. Uh, somebody's at the car wash. At the car wash. Nothing like doing a uh, car wash in a sandstorm once again like we've done before. But hey, man, it's all good. You do owe me one. That went super, super quick. What was that noise? All right. Cool. All right, folks, that's going to do it for our episode today. We are going to uh, leave it as is. And when we come back, we will definitely try to get that $10,000 mark so we can buy that broom. Um, actually, before we buy the well, not broom, but the vacuum, I might upgrade my car wash first. I want to say that is $10,000. You just threw a fucking fish. I saw you throw a fish. Um, let's check that out real quick, though, because I think that's our next plan is to upgrade that. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Car wash. $12,000. So, yeah. It looks like it's an automatic car wash. Hell, yeah. So, we are definitely going to get $12,000 so we can have an automatic car wash. That would be super ideal. But, in the meantime, folks, we have the two twins that are here shopping. Thank you for wearing the same exact clothes. You twins, I like it. It's awesome. But, in the meantime, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any more tips, man, please let me know. I'm, I love seeing the tips I, I love knowing new things about this game that i never knew before and trust me guys it is extremely helpful so i do appreciate your guys's tips so in the meantime i hope you guys have a great rest of your night and i will see you next time